In this video, we'll be demonstrating the correct technique for injecting insulin using an insulin pen. But first, let's review the parts of an insulin pen. There is an insulin reservoir, which contains all the insulin. There is a rubber stopper, which is where you will attach the insulin pen needle. There is a dosing window, which shows you how many units you've selected. And next to the dosing window is a dosing dial and an injection button. Now, let's gather up all the supplies we'll need. You'll need an alcohol wipe, your insulin pen, and a new pen needle. Remember, pen needles are designed for one-time use only, so every time you inject insulin, you should be using a fresh pen needle. First, remove the cap of your insulin pen. Then, take your alcohol wipe and swab the rubber stopper at the tip of the pen. Next, we're going to connect the pen needle. To do this, peel off the paper tab. Then, place the needle straight onto the pen and twist the pen needle on until it's secure. It doesn't need to be overly tight, just secure. The next step is to remove the two safety caps on the needle. Set aside the larger clear cap because when you're all done, you're going to use it again to safely remove the needle. The smaller inner shield should also be removed but can be thrown away. The next step is to perform a test shot to make sure there are no blockages to the flow of insulin and to remove potential air from the tip of the needle. To do this, turn the dosing dial on the pen until it says 2 in the dosing window. Next, hold the pen with the needle pointing straight up. If you see any air bubbles in the insulin reservoir, gently tap the pen until the bubbles move to the top. Next, press the dosing button. You should see a few drops appear at the tip of the needle, or a small stream of insulin can also shoot out. Once you've performed the test shot, you are ready to inject your dose. Turn the dosing dial until your prescribed dose appears in the window. You'll notice that only even numbers appear, but each line represents one unit. So for example, if your dose was 5 units, the line you'd select is between the 4 and the 6. Once you've selected the right amount to give, clean the area where you are going to inject. Since insulin is injected into the fatty tissue, the options for injecting include the stomach, the outer part of your thighs, the back of your upper arm, and the upper buttock. When injecting insulin, it's important to remember that injection sites should be rotated, meaning pick a different site every time. Not rotating properly can result in changes to the skin, which can impact insulin absorption. How far away does your next injection site have to be? Well, one finger in between injection sites is sufficient to properly rotate. Insert the pen needle at a 90 degree angle. Once the needle is under the skin, press the dosing button down and count for at least 5 to 10 seconds with the button pressed down. Counting will help ensure that the entire dose has enough time to fully deliver. When you're done, it's time to remove the needle. Place the large clear cap back on the insulin pen. Untwist the needle in the other direction until the needle comes completely off the pen. Then, properly dispose of the needle in a plastic, puncture-proof container with a lid. Finally, place the cap of the pen back on and safely store it. If you have any questions regarding your injection technique or the use of an insulin pen, please contact your primary care provider or diabetes specialist. Thanks for watching.